Hi, I'm Tandy Newton for PETA. As a mother, I can't imagine what it would be like to have my children taken away from me. But this is what happens to cows on dairy farms every single day. Like all mothers, cows produce milk for their young. But after being artificially inseminated and pregnant for nine months, cows in the dairy industry have their newborn calves stolen from them after only one or two days, so that the milk nature intended for their babies can be bought and consumed by people instead. There's a strong bond between a mother and her calf within the first few minutes of birth, making their separation extremely traumatic. The cow bellows and the calf cries pitifully when they're separated and these cries can go on for several days. Female cows have even been known to jump fences, escaping from their enclosures and walking for miles looking for their calves. Thousands of newborn male calves, unwanted byproducts on dairy farms, are killed with a shot to the head every year. Many more are forced to spend their short lives in veal crates, imprisoned and kept in darkness. Female calves are destined to enter the same sad, painful cycle that their mothers endure being impregnated, giving birth, and grieving the loss of their babies year in and year out until the day comes when they, too, are sent to slaughter. I hope you'll agree that no mother or baby deserves that suffering. And you can help them simply by choosing plant-based alternatives such as soya, almond, hazelnut, rice, coconut, or my favorite, oat milk, these milk alternatives are available at your local supermarket and offer all the nutrition that you and your children need, with none of the potential allergies, cholesterol or cruelty found in dairy products. Please join me in standing up for all mothers by refusing to support the cruel dairy industry. Visit peter.org.uk for your free vegan starter kit.